Gordis. Gordis! Don't kill me! Please, please don't kill me. I, I, I have just been watching you. Just, just watching, that's all. I swear, I am completely harmless. There is absolutely no need for you to kill me. I, I assure you. <laughs> you do realize that the more you tell us not to kill you, the more it seems like it's kind of the right idea. Back off. Let's keep this simple. You don't want to die. You do exactly what I tell you to do. Simplicity. I understand simplicity. Good. Yeah. That little robot's why we're here. There's an upgrade somewhere nearby. We're looking for it. Well, I, I, I can't help you with that. I know nothing about it. So, you should leave. We all should leave, all of us, going our separate ways. I can leave right now, in fact, and if anyone asks, not that anyone would, of course, but I, I'll tell them, I'll say, I didn't see you. Oh, for... <sighs> hey, remember this? The part where you were begging us not to kill you? Let's rewind, shall we? I... I just... I... I... um... <sighs> Very well, young lady. You win. I'm on the run, you see. I have lost everything. My wife. My son. My cat. I did not lose them in that order, though. I, I lost my wife first, then my cat, then my son. So, wife, cat, son. You ever thought of becoming a professional storyteller? Because I gotta tell you, your sense for crucial information is just... Reese. Forgive me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed human contact. Uh, perhaps I've forgotten how to talk to people. You must understand, I've suffered months of wandering, isolation, skulking from one location to the next, broken, ashamed, homeless. I got here, to this place, only minutes ago, so... I'd ask that you leave me now, to my demons, and go. That's a sad story, but I still don't trust him. Me neither. I do! Is that dumb of me? I found a stash of drake fruit. From where I'm standing right now, it kind of seems like you were eating some earlier today. Which makes your story of having just arrived here a little, you know, suspect. Actually, you know what? Screw this guy. I mean, look at him. He can't even eat fruit without splashing juice all over himself. His clothes are terrible, and his cat probably sucked. What could he possibly know that would help us? Let's get out of here. For your information, my clothes are entirely functional. And my cat may have sucked, but he was the finest sucky cat on this godforsaken rock. But you're right about the juice stain. That's totally indefensible. I'll tell you what you want to know. Follow me. I am not a simple traveler. I've lived here for months. So, dead wife, dead kid... That's all horse crap. Yes. Although Skaggs did eat my cat. Oh, guys, the cat. He was a terrible cat. By which you mean he was a cat, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, tough room. The bunker within that jungle. I suspect it contains the upgrade you're looking for. I wish I could tell you more about what's inside, but I was never brave enough to check. The problem, your problem, is the Atlas automated security system that surrounds said bunker. Isn't it always? If I were you, and in this instance I'm relieved I am not, I'd gain access to the security tower, which is... there. <laughs> I can get in and disable the security systems, easy. Not easy, not at all easy, but your best option nonetheless. Automated security system, huh? Huh. Just realized the acronym for that is ASS! Ha! Yeah, that's probably why no one calls it that. <laughs> hey, Reese, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna disable Atlas's ASS! <laughs>
<laughs> so good. What kind of defenses are we talking about here? Oh, the usual medley of turrets and laser grids. Self-regulated, self-controlling, all lethal, of course. Reese, that sounds like something you can handle, right? Please, in my sleep. So we're done talking, then? We can actually go secure this upgrade now? Fiona, while Mr. Robot Eye here hits the security tower and hacks the defenses, you and I will infiltrate the bunker and grab the upgrade. Let's get this gorgeous piece and get out of here, huh? Was that sarcastic? No, I'm serious. Was that sarcastic? I'll go with Reese and make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. It's a simple hack. You wanna know how simple? I look at it and it hacks. No need to put yourself in danger. Oh, if it wasn't for me and Fiona, you'd be skag food. Hmm. How many times now? You need me. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, I'm just gonna be here, uh, hurting and doing stuff, if anyone needs me. There's a lot of stuff I can do, right? Huh? I mean, I don't have a robot eye, I'm not a highly trained assassin. Also not particularly charming, but, but I can still do stuff. Hey, I got a job for you. Use the computers in here and find out whatever you can about Atlas, Gordas, or the vaults. You've come to the right man. All right. Everyone knows what they're doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. And with a plan like this, what could possibly go wrong? So despite my incredible leadership efforts going unnoticed, Sasha and I went to go brave the catwalks and find the security station. <laughs> How are you not permanently damaged from all this brain trauma? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. I've got a tough noggin. Just ask Vasquez, or never mind. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> perfectly fine, huh? Huh. <laughs> You're not as useless as I first thought. I mean, when I first saw you guys, I thought, wow, no wonder Hyperion isn't what it used to be. Oh, maybe you're just a bad judge of character. <laughs> you sound like Fiona. <laughs> you know, when I first saw you at the deal with the uh, nose ring boy, I thought, uh, these two don't know what the hell they're doing. You weren't wrong about that. I can't believe he pointed his gun at you back there. Yeah, well, he wouldn't have pulled the trigger. You sure about that? Yeah. I saw it in his eyes. August was a mark. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh. Nothing less? I don't know why I said that part. I felt like I was supposed to. You spend a certain amount of time with someone, you you get to see a side of them you might not have been expecting. Oh, right. So what you're saying is he was really into guns. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just... so... Beautiful? Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Me either. Let's see where this goes. Just thinking the same thing. Whoa, okay. We are pretty high. 
You have a problem with heights? Sometimes. Just most, mostly when I look down. <laughs> well then, don't look down. Don't be scared. I won't let you fall. Okay, come on. I believe in you, Reese. What are you waiting for? Scared? Who's scared? I didn't... No, I'm not scared. Okay, good. This is easy mode right here, sister. Because I could jump like, I don't know, a million times further than that. Cool. Well, let's just start with this. Yeah, let's... I'm not, I'm not scared. Yeah, you, you've made that clear. Okay. Go time. Uh, little help? You just needed to run faster. Ah! Hope you brought some bug spray. <laughs> Sasha! I'm all right. Don't look down. Okay. And don't puke on me. <laughs> No promises. All right, all right. Just stay calm. You've got to climb up. Robot arm. Stronger than regular arm. You're doing great. I'm going as fast as I can! Glenn's gonna go! Hold tight! Just hold on, okay? It's gonna take a little longer. Dead! Losing! Strength! Reese, I'm letting go. There's no way you're getting up that with me hanging on you. Okay, I understand. Probably for the best. It's okay, Sasha. Reese. Sasha! No! Wow, we are really close to the ground, aren't we? You sure know how to make things dramatic. I mean, t to be fair, you, you, you did tell me not to look down. Well, you can drop down now. Yep, okay. <sighs> okay, you uh, can you, get down yeah, now. You, down. And for the record, I didn't let you fall. Oh, we made it. Well, technically, we still fell. Well, then I technically let you down. Yeah. I'll get over it. So, right. The turret controls we need to get to are back up there. Guess we'll take the scenic route. It's just trees. I just... I can't believe this. This... This jungle is incredible. I forget that this is new for you. Come on. The Gordis upgrade is that way. Was that scarf a gift from someone? My sister got it for me before my first long away mission. What the, what the hell is that thing? That is an opportunity. What are you packing, that little sleeve pistol? 
You're going to need more than that. My... Felix made it for me. Always said I'd be better off talking my way out of a fight than shooting my way out. Then Felix never met a vault monster. Felix put training wheels on this thing. He was holding you back. What, was he scared I'd hurt myself? There. No more elemental burnout. And if you're worried about bullets... So now I... Now you take it down! <gasps> Wrong element! That doesn't work, Fiona! That doesn't work, Fiona! It's going to kill you! You should do something! Yeah, I don't think you're exactly doing a great job of protecting me so far. That plant didn't kill you. And once you're a proper vault hunter, little annoyances like that will continue to not kill you. Over and over again. You keep calling me vault hunter, but I'm not like you. I can't throw a shield or go invisible. My one talent involves talking at people until they get confused. We don't all get to choose our talents, Fiona. Look at me. Do you think I would have chosen a shield to protect myself out here? I learned to make do. You've spent your entire life outthinking your enemies. Do that now. See the outcomes before you act. Wasn't so hard, was it? I prefer to avoid confrontation. In case you haven't noticed, I'm just a con artist. It doesn't mean you can't be a vault hunter. Come on. The sooner we can upgrade Gordis, the sooner we can leave. After a while, you just sort of feel like you've seen everything. Like you can't be surprised by anything anymore. <sighs> Something so delicate, hidden away. Maybe we should just let it be. I want to show Fiona. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> You deserve that. Yes, I did. What the hell is that? This is why we can't have anything nice. 
Red means bad, right? Oh, good. This is slow, too. Huh. This is weird. There. was taking care of this. You can handle this on your own. Oh, crap. Hi, Janie. Athena? Where are you? Go on. Darling. No, no, don't you darling me. And don't let me slow down any murderous rampages you might be on either. Springs, if not like that. I'm not killing anyone. It's just that protection job. Remember the one I told you about? Yep. That's the one. Uh-huh. I know that. <clears throat> well, try not to risk your damn neck too much. You're rustier than you used to be. Only because you made me quit. Funny. Doesn't seem like it took. Hey! You don't look at me like that. It's not my fault. Still doesn't change the fact that I have to clean up this mess. Yeah, but... Forget it. Let's just keep moving. Looks like this piece of tin could probably be popped right off if we yanked hard enough. Ideas? Too much. <clears throat> Whoa. Come on. That's beautiful. Yeah, good drop. Let's grab it and go.
There we go! Oh, crap. Sasha, look at this. He's an Atlas scientist? Oh, this is not good. Come on! Of course. Don't worry, buddy boy. I'll take the wheel for a few. We're safe behind that shield, right? Until it runs out of energy and we're both shot to death. Yes! I'm gonna kill that Hyperion! Grab the board upgrade. Quick! I guess this is the energy chassis. Any idea what it does? It gets us one step closer to a vault. This is good. If this is what being a vault hunter is like, I think it's what I want to do. You've got potential, but real vault hunting? It's a lonely life. Be ready to kiss all of your relationships goodbye. Come on, let's get this thing back so it can do... whatever it does. This is what you've been looking for? Yes. Oh, man. Okay, what are the odds that you'd find that piece just as Fiona told that part of the story? Just lucky, I guess. Sure. Lucky. Uh-huh. What do you want with that thing, huh? Clearly you know what happened. If I knew everything, you wouldn't be here. I'm saying I would have killed you. Uh, yeah, we get it. 